And the Phoenix 5100 solves the last major problem in LCD TVs, which was the sample and all the facts, also known as motion. Actually, uh, in an LCD and full HD TV, you often lose uh, the, the detail in fast moving scenes and uh, sports events. So, what the 5100 does is actually it up converts the, uh, the video to 120. And by doing that, you short the refresh rate on the LCD panel, and you get no charge build up in the panel. And by doing that, you get rid of the loss. So you will get a much sharper picture, as you can see here on the, on the right. Um, in the demo here, we have a split screen demo. Both of them have 120 hertz. On the left side, we do a simple frame number. On the right side, you see the motion accurate picture processing. The motion accurate picture processing uses the original frames of the video stream. It actually goes back, even in movie, it will go back to 24 frames per second. And it will then, on the moving objects, calculate uh, motion vectors between the two frames. And in the frames that we generate in between, it will put the moving objects at the right position. Because we do this with motion accurate picture processing, we also solve another problem uh, that was with motion estimation compensation that is called HAL. And HAL is a problem that occurs whenever you cannot actually accurately calculate your motion factors. And uh, that, for example, occurs when you have a helicopter moving in front of a tower and you don't know in the next frame where the, the piece of the building is that you lost visible in the previous frame. And then you get an inaccurate motion factor and then you get a blurry kind of, uh, of picture. Yeah, just, yeah. Phoenix 5100 right. solves this by going to more frames of accuracy. Uh, work out the uh, motion factor, and by doing that, we get completely rid of the halo. Next to the motion action picture processing, the Phoenix 5100 also has a complete suite of picture improvement IP. So it has the vertical and horizontal peaking, and that is our fourth generation of these peaking algorithms. It has CTI, LTI, but it also has algorithms like Blue Stretch to bring up the point in the picture. It has the blue enhancement or blue sky enhancement that is very visible in some of the pictures that brings up really the blue in the sky or in the sea. And uh, we have a green enhancement of the reason not to buy an LCD TV. And uh, <laughs> as a uh, last major improvement, we have white color gamut in here. And the white color gamut allows you to draw the colors far more to the primaries of the color outside the normal RGB triangle and uh, to uh, get much more vibrant colors where you want them. So if, for example, you show a parrot, then the parrot would look really bright. But the same algorithm also makes sure that facial colors, for example, stay natural. So there is a, uh, you can freely program that algorithm to uh, have a triangle in the middle that stays normally and towards the primaries you get much more extension together with a, uh, a white color gap panel that really makes sure that you get the most vibrant color. I would say all of these things combined, the PNX 5100 launches us into the next era of full HD television. These televisions will be very much suited to uh, as a home cinema system because they will, uh, if they were used, for example, with a 24 frames per second input, we can really do a good up conversion to 100 or 120 hertz, um, and you get the original film material in its, in its best beauty. Um, but it also uh, it solves all the video problems with fast moving scenes, and it gives you through the color improvement, it gives you the best color representation available. These sets will be in the market using the PNX 5100 early 2008, so they will be in time for the Beijing Olympics and the World Championship Summer. And by doing that, they will be you will be able to watch uh, those in all their brilliance in your uh, home movie theater. Great.